Hi, my name is Christine Fegener and I'm a marine conservation biologist and sea turtle researcher. I was pretty much fascinated by the ocean ever since I was little. I've lived in Costa Rica for about 15 years now. I started my own NGO to get more locals involved in sea turtle conservation. Yeah, we are right now here at our weekly beach cleanup. So we're going out every week to a certain section of the beach to collect all the plastic that we find. So sea turtles face many threats, but uh, one of the major threats is plastic because plastic can cause harm in different ways. So first of all, they can get entangled in it. If you think about plastic fishing lines or other plastic pieces, even they also can ingest plastic. And a lot of times it leads to death because it blocks the digestive tract. The sad thing is that turtles don't usually mistake plastic necessarily for food, but they're actually attracted to plastic because plastic forms a biofilm the longer it stays in the water. And that biofilm seems to be smelling like food. So with the organization, we are working with local communities and are trying to train local community members in our research techniques and also conservation techniques. And we're trying to protect as many nesting females and eggs as possible. And at the same time, study sea turtles. A lot of the plastic that we are using is are really just meant to be used for a few seconds, a few minutes, but they're made from this material that is actually made for eternity. We are having different research and conservation projects because we believe that good conservation can only be done with knowledge and also to make a difference on the ground. For my PhD here in Costa Rica, when we found one male sea turtle that had something funny encrusted in its nose and when we investigated further, it actually turned out to be a plastic straw. So we removed that plastic straw and I filmed the whole process of my colleague pulling on that straw and my main objective was pretty much showing the world of how bad single-use plastic especially are because a lot of the plastic that we are using is are really just meant to be used for a few seconds, a few minutes, but they're made from this material that is actually made for eternity. There's so many ways that all of us can make a difference every single day. If you're thinking about helping my sea turtles, a good way of doing it is using Ocean Hero. I like it because even with every new tab I open, I'm collecting plastic bottles from the ocean. So start collecting today.